Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are looking at our budget interesting commanders, our interesting budget commanders. A commenter pointed out I should be putting budget second, which is correct, but uh, I always put budget first because I think it's what people care about. EDH Rec Budget Infect Commanders. So these are, yeah, the top five commanders on EDH Rec for Infect that are what I consider budget. And what I consider budget is $2 or less, which I'm gonna go over soon. So what is this series about? Uh, these are meant to give good ideas for commanders that are available and look at some budget uh, cards for the 99 to put in to start building them. Uh, really focusing on the mechanics more than anything. So yeah, this is all about focusing on themes on EDH Rec. I think themes are something to keep in mind when you're building a deck. It's very important to have it focused on that theme and have all of your supporting mechanics kind of supporting that theme. It's all about, you know, making it one thing. I think when you start building decks, one of the things that, or pitfalls people fall into is just like, oh, this is cool, this is cool, this is cool. And they throw in a bunch of cards that don't really do anything. Uh, I was going through a deck I had made a few years ago and I was just like, what is this? Why did I do this? Um, but I'm actually gonna talk about that in another video. So yeah, again, this is all about Infect. What is a theme? So a theme is like the focus on the particular mechanic. So here it's Infect. And just uh, <clears throat> in case anyone needs it, uh, Infect, when you do damage, you, th your opponents get poison counters. If they get 10 poison counters, they lose the game. So this is basically a win con, which is very effective. Uh, it's a little divisive. Some people really do not like Infect, so I'd be careful. Yeah, Infect though. So. It allows you to put poison counters, as I just said. Most decks are not equipped to deal with this mechanic. So there are ways to move counters, right? There aren't really, most decks aren't really set up to be able to like move counters on a dime kind of thing. So if you, you just start playing Infect against a random deck, they're probably not gonna have a counter to Infect or poison counters. Yeah, if a ten, player has 10 or more, they lose. So kind of like commander damage. It's almost redundant with commander damage, but anyway. Um, this is not a popular mechanic. Uh, talk to your group before you run a, an Infect deck. Really, yeah, a lot of people get very angry about Infect. I think it's n un not unfair. Um, especially they've d taken some steps to try and uh, make it more reasonable, I think. So yeah, that's something you can look at anyway. But if you're going to do a lot of Infect, uh, don't surprise people with it, is what I'd say, yeah. Or even if you're, if someone else in your uh, pod plays a lot of Infect, then it's probably okay. But yeah, don't catch people off guard with it. They'll get salty. In the 99, so these are things that are pretty much always good in the 99. I'm trying to get a variety of uh, casting costs here, or color identities here. Prologue to Phyresis. So each opponent gets a, a poison counter, draw a card. For one in a blue, that is 32 cents. Amazing because most proliferate, or most uh, infect decks are proliferate, right? They use a lot of proliferate. That allows you to just put a, an ex, another counter of any type on any player or any permanent. So you can just keep stacking up counters, which can be good for you with like plus one, plus one counters, or maybe shield tokens, or tokens, counters, and things like that. And then, uh, yeah, for your opponents, it's very bad because they're going to be just stacking up those infect. So, yeah. Evolution Sage, all about, again, getting that proliferate. Landfall proliferate trigger is uh, very effective. So that's two and a green for a 3-2 creature, a creature for 155. Again, every time you play a land, which with green is probably quite a bit, you're going to be uh, proliferating, which helps you, hurts them. Great combination. Finally, Karn's Bastion. So this is a land, so no casting cost, but yeah, you can tap it to add to colorless, or you can pay for and tap it to proliferate. Remember, if uh, a land has a trigger like this, a pay mana trigger, it actually costs one extra, right? It says pay for, 
you're not tapping your land for mana either, so that kind of ends up costing 5. It's one thing you should probably consider, but anyway, 137 for that. Number 5. Okay, Xavier Saul, Infested Captain. So again, he is, I forget what this is called now. Oh, Sultai, right. Uh, black, green, blue. 3-3. Three, three. Eh, a 3-3 three, three for 3. Okay, not great, especially when the 3 are different colors, but anyway. You can tap him to remove a counter from another permanent you control. Proliferate. Activate only as a sorcery. So you get a counter of any kind on something, and then you take it off, and then by tapping him, you just proliferate everything. So basically, you, as long as it has two counters, you can take a counter off, proliferate, and put the counter back on. All right, or sacrifice another creature. Oh, sorry, populate. That's pop populate, not proliferate. Pop populate. Buh, 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 buh. Yeah. So populate is create a token that's a copy of a creature token you control. So that's kind of the sticking point there, is that it is, ha, has to, you already have to have another token to use this. So yeah, you cannot do the cycling thing that I just talked about. I knew that before I started recording, and then I just started talking and I stopped thinking. The problem is that you need to think. Yeah. Anyway, sacrifice another creature, proliferate, activate only as a sorcery. So again, you do have that kind of circular thing. But yes, you're going to populate, make a copy of something, and then you can sacrifice that copy and proliferate. Really, probably what you want to do is, or keep doing is making tokens separately, and then sacrificing those tokens to keep proliferating. And what's really ideal with him is to just untap, right? Untap effects. Green and blue are great for untapping effects. I actually have merfolk that do that a video on that and uh green is actually pretty good at that too i mean green does everything so yeah big surprise anyway 137 all right so now i'm in the correct corner yay and um we're gonna look at the 99s for this i'm mostly focusing on things with green right in fact is heavy on black and blue so yeah, you'll find a lot of black and blue. Also, I think white as like a third color. But yeah, green, we want to we want to make the most of green when we can use it. Anyway, so Evolution Witness. This card is crazy. It's cheap right now. Get it now. In two years, this is going to be like minimum five bucks, I bet you. Anyway, so for, so for two and a green, it has uh, one and a green to adapt to. Oh, sorry, two and a green is a two one, and you can have a tap adapt to for two mana. So if this creature has no plus one plus one counters on it, put two plus one plus one counters on it. So it can plus put plus one plus one counters on itself, two for two mana. That's already pretty good, but it, they sweeten the pot a bit. Whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on evolution witness, return target card from your graveyard to your hand. This is just recursion for proliferate. So yeah, you get a plus one plus one counter on her, and then yeah, proliferate, put another one, card back to hand, card back to hand. And yeah, it, it's a it's permanent card, not creature. A lot of these will specify creature, this is just permanent. I got one of these from the Modern Horizon 3 uh, fat pack, and I was so excited, and then I looked at the cost, and I was like, oh, it's like nothing. I think it actually went down since then as well. I think it was around two bucks at least at one point. This is not gonna stay this slow. I gotta order, actually now that I'm saying it out loud, I should order like 10 of these, but, cause uh, yeah, anyway. Next up is Bloated Contaminator. So it has Trample, which is nice, and Toxic One. So, uh, sorry, I'll take a step back and say, for two and a green, it's a four four with Trample. Okay, three mana for a four four with trample. That ain't bad. Toxic one as well. So toxic is different than infect. When it does damage with infect, you don't do the damage. You do just do infect the uh, poison counters, right? They do the same number as damage. That's very abusable. This is kind of their solution to how to fix it, I think. Toxic one. St they still do the damage, which is nice, but then they put one poison counter on. Only one. No matter how much damage you do, you do uh, 20 damage. 
still one poison counter, okay? So yeah. But, which is great with Trample, because you're probably not getting a whole lot of extra damage through, but, uh, but, but whenever a bloated contaminator deals combat damage to a player, proliferate. So whenever it does damage the player, you can stack the triggers however you want, right? So you're gonna do that, give them a toxic, toxic one poison counter, and then proliferate. So really you're giving them two counters when you do damage. Any kind of evasion you throw onto this is just going to make it a absolute menace. In a way, two dollars. Only two bucks. Azuri, Stalker of Spheres. I actually did a budget deck tech. I'm going to try and remember to put a card in the other corner for this. Anyway, uh, when it enters the battlefield, you may pay three. If you do, proliferate twice. Whenever you proliferate, draw a card. So when it enters the battlefield, pay an extra three, which makes it a... Uh, Pretty steep seven, right? But you get to proliferate twice, and then you draw, two, yeah, draw a card whenever you pro proliferate. So you're gonna draw two cards: proliferate, proliferate, draw, draw, and then if you have bloated contaminator, anytime he does damage, you're gonna put those counters down, and then double proliferate everything you want, and then you're gonna draw a card again. Card again. <sighs> I get it. Uh, anyway, fifteen cents. And I love this budget deck. This is one that I am particularly proud of. Number four. Uh, Brimaz, Blight of Oreska. Oreskos, sorry, Oreskos. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, and I forgot to say before the decks and all that, but anyway, he is two and Orzov. So he's white black, and he's a three four. Three four for four? Eh, you know. But anyway, whenever you cast a Phyrexian creature or artifact spell, incubate X, where X is that spell's mana value. So you create an incubator token with X plus one plus one counters on it, and to transform this artifact, it becomes a zero zero Phyrexian artifact creature. So this is going to just keep, uh, this is going to keep pumping out Phyrexians, right? And then at the beginning of each end step, if I for each end step, if a Phyrexian died under your control this turn, proliferate. So you're going to keep doing that proliferate trick again, right? Always infect, proliferate, infect, proliferate. So yeah, this one is different, of course, because of, because of the color identity. Anyway. So he's in 1042 decks, which is pretty good considering he is a newer card, not super new. Uh, let me see, 2023. Yeah, so new, definitely new. Usually when I think something's new, it's actually like four years old. And then I go, oh, never mind. Uh, okay, Phyrexian Kindred Commander. Phyrexian Kindred is undervalued, I think. It's not in the top five, I agree, but it's like right below. Okay, a proliferate commander is always good, especially you, you, he doesn't have infect on his own, he's got the proliferate, and that's almost more important. I'd rather have proliferate than infect. You can get infect from anything, proliferate is just gonna like enhance everything else. Yeah, also able to create the Phyrexians to trigger his abilities. The fact is that he can trigger his own proliferate from his other skill. So it's that nice self-contained kind of ability set. Anyway, 50 cents. Okay, metastatic, metastatic Evangel, 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 but anyway. For one and a white, it's a three one. Eh, okay. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, proliferate. So anytime you, a non-token enters the battlefield, it doesn't even say cast. So if you have graveyard shenanigans or just dropping things from your hand, as long as it's not a token, you can keep proliferating. This is, uh, scary. Okay, anyway, 25 cents. Vraska's Fall. Frankly, this should go in every uh, Infect deck you can get it in or even in a proliferate deck you can get it in. So yeah, each opponent sacrifices a creature or a planeswalker and gets a poison counter. Okay, this is an instant for three. So remember, instant speed, great. Also, sacrifice. Sacrifice gets around a lot of things like indestructible or things like that. 
Also, hex proof or shroud, doesn't matter, right? Yo, oh, good. I am burping again. I got hiccups. Lovely. Every time I'm recording, the only time I ever get hiccups is when I'm recording. But anyway. So, yeah. Other player, you're, the player is the target, right? Each opponent sacrifices, not target creature. Opponent. The downside is that they get to choose, but this is great to follow up like a board wipe or something, right? You get rid of most of them, and then whatever they manage to keep on the on the board, then you hit them with this. And you just, like, really kind of make them salty, probably, but it's all okay. Anyway, 25 cents. Norn's Decree. This is an amazing one. Okay, so it's an enchantment for a two and a white. Whenever one or more opponents deal combat damage to you, that opponent gets a poison counter. So if they hurt you, they get poison counters. This is better than Pillow Fort, okay? I think I see people acting like Pillow Fort just means that like you can't get attacked or something. It doesn't. Really, the mana cost is a hindrance, it's a disincentive. It's not much of a disincentive even. It's a hassle. This is like, you're gonna potentially lose the game if you attack me. Even even once I can start proliferating, and then yeah. If you hit me, you might cost you the game. This is a real disincentive, okay? This isn't like pay two mana. Anyway, 163. <laughs> Number three, Agent Frank Hor Horrigan. Okay, five and uh, Golgari, so black green. First of all, five, right? Seven casting cost on a commander is crazy high. Um, I probably wouldn't use this commander. I put him in the 99, but anyway, I don't make EDH rec either. So anyway, okay, he is an 8-6 with trample. All right. Paying 7 for an 8-6 with Trample, that's still not great, but worth it at least. But let's look at his power, or his powers. Agent Frank Horrigan has Indestructible as long as it, it ha as it attacked this turn. So as soon as you attack with him, he's just Indestructible for the turn. So very useful. You can abuse that so many ways. And yeah, whenever he... Inc, uh, Agent Frank Horrigan <laughs> enters the battlefield or attacks proliferate twice. So he attacks, becomes indestructible, proliferate twice. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay? Anywho, yeah. He's only in 283 decks. Uh, I believe he's from the, uh, what is it called? The video game. I already, I forget everything. I get everything wrong when I'm recording, and I forget everything when I'm recording. Anyway, yeah, he's a newer one. That's probably why he's only in 283. I kind of wonder how EDH rec. I am going by their ranking. I don't understand how their ranking works, but I should probably look into that if I'm going to make this series. Anywho, 69 cents. Okay, so we've got a lot of great ones here. Basking Brood Scale. I This is a card. Pick this up as well. Evolution Witness, Basking Brood Scale. Order these today. Anyway, one in a green for a 2-2, two, two, eh, Devoid, which is potentially useful, I guess. It means it has no color. Again, you have that 2 to adapt 1, so you can put up 1 plus 1 plus 1 on it if it doesn't have any. So, yeah. Whenever 1 or more plus 1 plus 1 counters on put on it, you create a 0-1 Colorless Eldrazi creature token with sacrifice to this creature, add a colorless. Okay, so basically you're making a whole bunch of like tokens you can sacrifice for colorless mana that are also creatures. So if you want to use them to block, remember you can declare them as a blocker and then just sack them. As soon as the block is uh, established, damage is not going through. Even if you sacrifice the blocker, unless they have trample, that's blocked, and it's con as soon as the block condition applies, damage doesn't go through. So you can use it as a blocker and sack it and get the mana. Very mean. Anyway, 29, 25 cents. Ikor rats, or Ikor rats, I should say, for one black black. 
a 2, 1. It does have infect. Remember, infect is damage as these poison counters. Not, not, doesn't do regular damage though. So when it enters the battlefield, each player gets a poison counter. Okay, remember, each player. That does include you, which is a downside, but just don't proliferate the poison counters on yourself. You don't have to proliferate. Remember, proliferate is choose. It doesn't just add one to everything. So yeah, I think that's important to point out. Uh, again, 119. Plague Stinger. So an insect horror for one and a black. It is a 1-1 one, one flyer, which is nice. Infect. Again, you want to have some kind of damage boost to this, but even if you can only get that one through, that's enough, right? You As soon as you get one, you just start proliferating. And with this commander, every combat you can proliferate twice. So in two combats, the four times, having six more proliferate triggers, not hard to do, right? So yeah, you get a poison counter on everyone, attack twice, and then yeah, you probably have ended the game already. Anyway, 36 cents. Number two. Vishgraz the Doom Hive. Okay, so for two white, black, green. I can't remember what that's called right now, of course. Uh, Menace, Toxic 1. So, it, Toxic is a great thing to have with some evasion built in. Menace is not the best evasion, but it works a lot of the time. So, when Vishgra the Doomhive enters the battlefield, create three 1-1 one, one colors creature, Phyrexian might artifact creatures tokens with Toxic 1, and this creature can't block. So, you're just going to make a whole bunch of these mites that all have Toxic 1, right? And... To sweeten the pot, Vishgraz gets plus one, plus one for each poison counter you have, your opponents have. Again, you've got all those abilities that put like poison counters on all of your opponents and then you proliferate, right? And then he just gets huge from that. This kind of has a downside in that every time you remove someone from the game, he's going to fall in power, right? If your opponent gets eliminated, then they're out. So what's important with this commander is being able to like balance them out. You want them all to have about the same number of poison counters. Okay, so that when one person gets knocked out, he doesn't just like immediately drop from all, lose all of his you know, like bonuses. Anyway. Oh yeah, I deal with Flicker as well, I meant to say. Alright, but we are talking about the Infect here, so Infection Inquiry. You draw two cards, lose two life, each opponent gets a poison counter. There you go. Each opponent gets a, opponent gets a poison counter. That means in Commander 3 opponents, plus 3, plus 3 for your commander on top of whatever else you have. So yeah. And card draw on top of poison counters is hilarious. Anyway, it's 2 and a black sorcery. Phyrexian Swarm Lord. This guy is perfect for this commander. Okay, first of all, Infect, great to see. Uh, he's a uh, four green, green, four, four. That's pricey, right? Six mana for a four, four. But let's look at the second ability. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a one, one green insect creature token with Infect onto the battlefield for each poison counter your opponents have. So you're stacking up these poison counters then at the beginning of your upkeep, you count them all up and you make that many insects with insect tokens with infect. That's really hard to say, insects with infect. I feel like I gotta practice saying that like five times fast or something. Anyway, 128, Necro Necrogen Rot Priest. I can't say anything, who am I kidding? Anyway, two Golgari, black green. Toxic two, nice. Again, that means two poison counters whenever it does damage. Doesn't matter how much damage. Whenever a creature you control with Toxic deals damage to a player, that player gets an additional counter. So, Toxic 3, basically. All of your Toxic things, like those mites that uh, Vishgraz makes, are going to be Toxic 2 now. Vishgraz is going to be Toxic 2. So, yeah. Really stacks up fast. Target creature you control with Toxic gains Death Touch until end of turn. If they do block your mites or your insects or whatever it might be, 
Your insects have infect, not, yeah. Not toxic, okay? So remember that there's a distinction there, but yeah. This is gonna be very, very useful. This is almost like a removal. You turn your, those, yeah, mites into like basically creature, creature removal, but if they block, you're gonna just eliminate them, right? Anywho, yeah, 20 cents. Number one. Oh, what theme do you want me to cover? Yeah, I'm always looking for in, in uh, input. I think a lot of times people think the the person making the video is just going to do whatever they want. I do listen. I do like everything you guys say, really. Someone asked for a Mardu video on card draw, and I did a whole series. So I guess I didn't really listen, but I like I did it. But I did instead of one video, I think I did like probably 18. Anyway, all right. Oh, please hit like and subscribe also. So Excel uh, Sion uh, attracts uh, in 6,063 decks. That's huge, right? That's a huge number. One black green. Once again, that uh, white black green. What is that called again? I can't remember. It's like my favorite combination too. Anyway, this is a flying toxic two, two, five. A 2-5 for 4, not great, but Flying Vigilance and Toxic 2, right? Flying Vigilance, Toxic 2, getting better. Corrupted, so at the beginning of your end, uh, of your end step, each opponent who has 3 or more poison counters exiles the top card of their library face down. You may look at it and play those cards for as long as they remain exiled. You may spend mana of any color as though you were any color. Use any mana you want. Remember, it says as long as they're exiled. Your commander does not have to be on the battlefield. So if your commander gets removed like a bunch of times and you, you don't want to keep paying that tax, that's okay. You don't need to cast your commander for X to those cards. Those are just your cards for the rest of the game until you cast them. All right, so here we go. Proud Pack Rhino. Uh, this is uh, when he comes, Two and a uh, white for a three-three. Eh, okay. When he enters the battlefield, choose one. Put a shield counter on target permanent or proliferate. Right? She does not have her own proliferate trigger. It's very important to find whatever you can with proliferate. Shield counters are crazy good. If you do have your proliferate set up, do the shield counter. Shield counter again, one time indestructible, and then you can just proliferate the shield counters to make it one time every time. Anyway, 15 cents. Next up, on Natural Restoration, uh, for one in green. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand, proliferate. Per target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand, and proliferate. Very great combination, right? Again, you need those proliferate triggers. Great to have it with recursion as well. Anyway, 50 cents. Finally, for one and a black, it is a 2-2 two, two with Toxic 1. Good start. Phyrexian Rat. When it dies, proliferate. So, whenever this dies, proliferate. Recur it. Get it back out. Do it again over and over and over. Just keep proliferating until uh, you win the game. Anyway, 15 cents. Please hit like and subscribe, it really does help. Uh, the list, here we go. So, Xavier Sala, Infested Captain is 137. Brimez, Blight of Orescos, 50 cents, I said it right. Oh, Agent Frank Horrigan, 69 cents. Vishgrav, uh, Vishgraz, the Doom Hive, 50 cents, I had a, yeah. Exhale, Cyan of Atraxa is 73 cents. Alright, thank you very much and take it easy.